In this video, I'll show you how to start your comic strip. So you can see I already have chosen a comic, and I've saved it to my computer, and that's what it is. So I'll go ahead and close it there. So I've got Flash open, and I'll make a new file. And then like the directions say, we're going to import it. So we've got a file, import, and I'm going to go ahead and import it to the library. And then I just need to find it on my computer. <clears throat> and I called mine example comic, so it's right there. I hit open. And if I look in my library, because that's where I imported it, it's right there. I'm going to drag it over, and I'll right-click on it, because I need to make it a symbol, so I convert to symbol. I'm going to make it a graphic symbol. I'm going to give it a name, and I will just call it original. I'll hit OK. So now it's a symbol, and to know that, if I want to make sure it is, I, we can look at properties, and I can see it's a graphic, so it's a symbol. Now I need to make it transparent. So I go to color effect right here in the properties. I change the style to alpha and then I move this slider down so it's transparent. I can see through it. So I want to make it so I can see it but I can also kind of tell the difference between the original and what I'm tracing. So that's decent. Then I'm going to use the free transform tool to resize it because in this first scene all I want to trace is this first one. And remember you can hold down shift so you don't distort it. So I'm going to resize this very first scene to kind of fit as good as it can inside my stage. And that's pretty good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock that layer. Actually, I'm going to give it a name first. I'm going to call it original. And the reason is because at the end of this, we're going to delete that layer because we only want to see what you made. Okay, so I lock that layer and then I can use, I can make a new layer. And I'll give it a name and I'll call that Lady. And then I could grab my line tool or I could grab my pencil tool and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I could choose whatever color I want. So I'm going to just leave it black. And I can just click and drag. And if you mess up, just undo. And remember, you also have modifiers down here. So I don't really want straighten because I don't really have straight lines. I want the smooth modifier. So I can click and drag. Remember, you can also use the line tool and you can change the shape. Okay. And you're just going to trace and then you can fill it in with color. When you're done, so let's say I was done with this first scene and I had all of it traced on different layers. We need to go ahead and trace the other two. And we're going to do that in a new scene. So the way we do that is we go up to insert and we choose scene. You'll see it takes you to a new scene. You can tell that because right up here on the left it says scene 2. To get back and forth we use this little symbol right here and we can go back to scene 1 if we want to. And then so here in scene 2 we'd go ahead and go back and get our symbol. We make sure it's the one that's a symbol. We drag it over. We change the opacity. And we resize it. and then I can lock it and then I can start tracing that one and then for the next scene I do the same thing I go to insert scene to make a new scene I drag over my symbol and then I trace it okay. to change the order of the scenes you can't just click and drag here to change the order because you'll need to make a title scene at the end we'll go to window we go to other panels we go to scene and right here, you can see the scenes, and then you could click and drag, you could change your order. You can also give them names. If you want to double click and give it a name, you could give it a name. All right, and that's how you do the comic.